All right, so got a quick video here on another all-in-one flight controller. This one's here is from Axis Flying, the Argus F7 all-in-one. Typical uh, whip style all-in-one flight controller, 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters with slightly elongated holes there. So I think uh, they'll also accommodate the 25 and a half millimeter dimensions as well. Got these large heat sinks here on the top and also on the bottom. There are some specs here outlined on the back. So F7, um, BLLES, it does have Blue J firmware. And the ECs are 40 amps per the 50, BM270, or BMI270 gyro. It's got a 5 volt 3 amp EC. And um, this connector here is for DJI and has passed through to VBAT. And uh, yeah, you can't see anything that's on the board because the heat thing's got this little pink color kind of different. I haven't seen anything in that. USB-C for the connector. And then you have your uh, motor connectors on the side. And then the pads there for some of your other UARTs. It's, it's kind of hard to see. I'll show you that on the, on the included documentation. And then there's some pads here on the bottom. And then here's what the box looks like and what comes in the box uh, with the all-in-one. You get some wire XT60 for making your battery connection. This is for your this is your DJI cable for your O3 and Vista, and you have your grommets for mounting that goes into the holes there for soft mounting it. And then the documentation that's included. Uh, so here shows all your specs: 14.6 grams. Uh, it does go up to 6s. Has five UARTs. Here's the uh, dimensions here again. And then it does say like it should be mounted with the back side facing up, which is the side with the the specs here, like this side here. But with the way the motor or motor or the yeah, the num motors are, are numbered here, so that's one and two. So this should be like this. So I'm going to mount it like that, even though in, it specifically says in the manual not to do that. And uh, uh, that should mean that. That should be forward. Now we'll see. I might have to make an adjustment in Betaflight in terms of what the proper orientation of the board is because there's no arrow that I can see on the top of the board. But if you look at the way, yes, it's one, two, three, four, it should be like that. So it'd be one, two, three, and four. Uh, if you mount it into the drone, that's how it should be. And it does note some stuff in terms of a board sensor alignment. We'll see if the way I mount it is correct or if the way they say here is correct. I'll let you know uh, later on in the video. And then the other side of the doc has documentation on the wiring. That's your DJI connector, pretty standard. They've got a V-back ground, uh, TX RX. And then you have R2 is the uh, UART for SBUS. So it'll be on UART2 for the SBUS connection for your air unit. And then on this side, these pads are for an LED. And then you have these pads over here that you couldn't really see the silk screen. It was too tiny. But uh, yes, pause the video if you want to take a quick look at that. So you have your UART 1, you have, you have UART 3 there, camera for, for analog camera and analog VTX are over here. And yeah, over here you have uh, stuff for your receiver connections and GPS on those pads. But yeah, those are super tiny. So I'm going to put this into this 5 inch here. So. Ideally, something like this would probably be better for, I don't know, like a three and a half inch Cinewa, but a lightweight five inch should be fine at 40 amps. I wouldn't put this into a, a heavier five inch. Like this is a lightweight because of the motors here. These are just, uh, what are these? Some 2203, 3000 KV. I'm gonna be running this on 4S. These are some motors from FPV Cycle. This uh, frame here, you probably have never seen before. I uh, don't think I remember a video on this. It was like a project that I was working on with the Drone Club like a while back, like probably more than a year ago, on a, a lightweight 5 inch uh, battery mounting here in the back here. And then it has this uh, top plate that goes over here like this. And you can put your GPS over here. Um, yeah, so you see the vistas in front here, and their antenna is kind of sticking up like this on the side. But yeah, this is meant for these all-in-one boards. It's gonna go right in there. And then there's my plug for the Vista. It's gonna go right there. 
So I'm gonna solder that in with the motor wires and my battery connection. I'll probably use a XT30 battery because this is supposed to be for a lightweight setup. But yeah, I had a different board in here and um, I forget what happened, but basically uh, it didn't fly so great. And so I was gonna, I put this project on a shelf and I was gonna come back to it later, but I was like, well, I uh, might as well just swap out the flight controller and see if the problems I was having before were the flight controller or the or the um, the frame. I guess I'll find out when I fly this. So uh, without further ado, we'll get right to the flight footage and I'll comment on how it flies and any problems I ran into. All right, so just came back from flying this thing and as expected, um, it flew fine. Uh, pretty much as I was expecting it to fly. Pretty stable actually, and I, obviously this is not for racing or aggressive freestyle. Uh, this is you know, mainly a cruiser type of frame here. I'm using uh, 1100 milliamp hour forest on this setup here. This whole thing here with the battery on five inch folding props is only 322 grams, so almost an ultralight, almost a uh, sub 250. Uh, and yeah, actually, it could be possible with a different five inch frame to maybe get around there. So for this weight at 322 grams with the forest battery, uh, this is uh, this EC is gonna be uh, fine. Uh, 40 amps bursting at 50 amps should be no problem for this weight. And if you're looking to put something like this on a heavier five inch, I would keep the weight down. Nothing more than say, uh, 450 to 500 grams total weight with the battery. Uh, you should be okay with m minimal aggressive flying. I know that some of you are like wondering, hey, can I put this on my larger five inch with the big, you know, 2207 motors and 700 to 800 grams all of weight with GoPro and battery? And my answer to you is uh, don't expect the ESC to last very long. Um, especially if you're doing freestyle flying or racing. I have seen enough evidence from a lot of other uh, people that have flown these all-in-one ESCs on something that heavy, and they may fly for a little while, but uh, typically what happens is they, in a crash, they get a huge voltage spike and the ESC fries. And that's why these are not recommended for anything that's going to be extremely heavy or gonna be crashing a lot for something like this is totally fine. Uh, obviously, if you're gonna be putting this on like a three and a half inch Cinewhoop, um, this will be more than fine unless you're really uh, abusing it like crazy. Uh, for you know, most typical situations, this will be totally fine for that. And I think that's what the um, Axis Flying is recommending this on, you know, uh, something like a three and a half inch, um, uh, Cinewhoop or three and a half inch freestyle quad, something like that, the 40 amp EC will be able to handle that, no problem, as long as the weight isn't too crazy. So yeah, if you're wondering, five inch uh, freestyle quad for this, this particular for all EC, I would not recommend it unless the weight's uh, below 500 grams. I would say even lower, 450 would be even better. For this is uh, totally crazy, um, so light, this 1100 milliamp hour battery is probably going to fly this setup for 10, maybe maybe 12 minutes. It's uh, pretty pretty efficient because uh, this is a 2203 motor and I got these little five inch folding props. But I'm just mainly keeping this around as a little cruiser setup here. Um, I might put uh, maybe a naked GoPro here in the front or like use the, the Go 3 or something like that. One of those little smaller cameras and um, possibly keep this around. For that, or I may I might move this board to a different five inch. Um, uh, maybe maybe considering putting this on the Camara Five. I still have that around, and replacing that board, and maybe putting these motors on that. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. That'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.